right what's up guys back again with another video so starting a trucking business without a cdl also no experience right it's pretty much the same steps you would follow with the fmcsa which going to the website getting your authority and stuff like that is the same process even without a cdl but first and foremost you guys do have to have a business so come up with a business name you know get an llc through your state and of course get your tax ID number because you're going to need that and get your duns number while you're at it because you're also going to want to be building business credit you know I tell you guys and talk about this all the time and credit is going to be especially important when you start in this process because this is going to be a lot of cash up front because if you're a truck driver you know and you want to start your own authority typically you know you're going from being a company driver or at least on to getting your own authority but by doing it this way you're going to have to invest a lot of your own money up front and the, the most biggest thing is going to be insurance now i do have a couple insurance that i could you know hook you guys up with so make sure you guys email me and i'll get those over to you if you're starting your authority along with some information for fuel and all that type of stuff so just let me know if you need that now what you do is now a couple things right we're going to take a look here of the qualifications to do this because you do not need a CDL to do a box truck right you have to have a CDL in some circumstances it may require a CDL so let's take a look at what those are so in Georgia and also this is going to be pertaining to drivers that are going to be coming through Georgia because this is also going to apply but you do not need a CDL if you're going to be operating a truck that's 26,000 pounds or less 26,000 one pound you need a CDL so that's the most important thing if you're going to be buying a truck a box truck that truck it has to be 26,000 pounds or less if the gross weight of that truck is 26,000 one pound you need a CDL to operate that vehicle class B so you want to purchase a box truck or get a box truck that is 26,000 pounds or less now the other key factor to this and a lot of people that do have box trucks already probably going to get in trouble with this one because you need a CDL if that box truck has air brakes right if that box truck have air brakes you need a CDL and it says it right here you guys can see vehicles without air brakes does not require you to take the air brake part of the test however the driver cannot drive a commercial vehicle with air brakes so that means also too that you have to purchase a box truck that doesn't have air brakes on them so that means if they pull you into the scale house and you're driving a truck that have air brakes and you do not have a cdl they're going to make you stay there and have somebody come get that truck or whatever so that's pretty much it so do you need a cdl to start a trucking business the answer is no you do not need a cdl but make sure you get a truck or operate in a truck that is 26,000 pounds or less and that truck does not have air brakes on it and you can definitely start a trucking business a box truck get your own authority and everything without a cdl so a couple points too is that if you guys are going to be trying to do this renting a truck now i know penske and some of these places they're going to tell you i want you to have two years been in business two years before they rent a truck to you now i wouldn't stop there you could find go to a smaller market that has trucks that rent trucks out to you and they're going to be more likely to rent a truck out to you not being that you have two years or been in business for two years they're going to go ahead and let you you know rent that truck from them and you can get started that way also no experience if you don't have any experience it's going to be tough getting insurance so um if you want insurance you're probably going to have to pay at least for that first year i know progressive is high everybody's telling me progressive high i even got quotes from progressive myself progressive is pretty steep when it comes to the insurance but they do insure people zero experience zero experience they will insure you and also getting into the box truck business if you're just starting out i recommend that you know call around and see what business you're going to get first because we're talking about a lot of money that you're going to be putting up when it comes to the insurance it's going to be your most expensive thing in purchasing the truck so those things are going to be a pretty expensive startup but it can be done so make sure that you have the work you can put that truck to work immediately so what i would suggest is getting with possibly a dispatch company now if you're not the one that's going to be running all over the road otr or doing regional or local stuff like that i don't know if a dispatcher is going to work for you if you're not really wanting to do otr or at least regional but you know get with a dispatcher at least for the first three months because again 
you're going to be brand new, brand new authority. It's going to be some companies that don't want to work with you until your authority get at least three to six months. So what I would do in that situation is, you know, for the first three to six months, roll with a dispatcher because the loads are going to be booked under them and you can just pull those loads for them. And then you'll be able to let your business and let your authority get to three to six months and then you'll start booking some more higher paying loads. If you do not have a CDL, you will be looking at operating a truck that's 26,000 pounds or less without air brakes. You can take one of those trucks, go to the FMCSA website, apply for your DOT number, your MC number, and you can start a trucking authority without a CDL. So, it may sound easy and simple, but you're going to run into some things when it comes to insurance and you're going to have to have the money to put up for the insurance if you want to get the authority activated. So if you guys know any other additional information on this particular topic, make sure you drop it down in the comments, like, subscribe, and until next time, see you in the next video.